Today in this video, I'm going to be transforming from Mark to Ciara. I loved it when she had that warm, blonde, short haircut like this. So I thought to do a tutorial for you guys. And this tutorial is featuring the Ciara wig from bestlacewigs.com. It's quite smoky but still wearable, so I hope that you enjoy this look. Hi everyone! I'm so excited to be filming this video because the past few weeks all I've been filming is vlogs and tag videos so I'm so excited to be back in my element and be doing makeup tutorials. I've honestly missed filming tutorials for you guys so much. Okay, so I'm going to be first using my Rodeal Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Moisturiser. This is my favourite moisturiser. For foundation I'm going to be using W7 Photo Shoot foundation in doo -doo -doo, natural tan and to blend that in I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush this is quite a full coverage foundation the past I'd say three weeks I've not been wearing makeup regularly I've worn makeup about <laughs> three times so I've missed filming for you guys and I've missed putting makeup on myself because I love putting makeup on it's just that everything's been so hectic lately Okay, I'm going to do the brows. I'm going to be using my brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning. I'm just filling in the eyebrows with a notch that's not too high. And then I'm going to be using my Me 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 Arch Angel, which is a brow gel. And I'm just going to set my eyebrows in place. I love brow gels. Love, love, love them. And I am going to be highlighting my brows using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1. Okay, so for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Revolution Awesome Eyeshadow Collection. I don't know how many there is in here, but there's a lot. There's a lot. So I'm going to be using the neutral side right here. And I'm going to be using this matte brown. And apply that to the crease using my 217 brush. This isn't a MAC one, this is a dupe. So if you want to find out the dupe, then click down below for my previous video. Which is a MAC 217 dupe video. Shameless plug. It looks like it's not doing much, but it is. If you look here, all the shadows are like really, really blended, which is what I want. Is it? Is it blended? I hope it is. I think it is. Ugh. Is it blended enough? I think so. Anyway, a transitional colour house in blending. And then I'm going to be using this taupey shade right here and apply that all over the lid. For the inner corner, I'm using this light colour right here. It's quite shimmery. Apply it onto the inner corner. You want this quite bright. I'm now taking this deep brown on the top. It's quite a warm brown colour. And apply that to the crease. Just to the outer third of the crease though. And also the lower lash line. Halfway through. And with your 217 brush, just blend the edges out. There's a lot of matte blacks in this palette, which is actually really useful, but I'm just going to take the bottom one and apply that to the lower half of the eye. And extend that up, creating a wing. Okay, for the waterline, I'm going to be dipping the end of a makeup brush into my Technique Gel Eyeliner in Brown and apply that to the waterline. Gel liner and the waterline just last a lot longer than pencil. And for the top liner, I'm using Topshop Liner in Ink. You want to create a thin line with this. But you don't, it doesn't have to be too neat at all. And wing it out. I know that looks really rough, but what we're going to do is smoke that out. And for mascara, I'm going to be using my Rodeo Glamour Lash Mascara in Skinny. And for lashes, I'm going to be using my Red Cherry Wispies. And that's the eyes done. Okay, I need to clean up under the eyes because there was a little bit of fallout with the eyeshadow. So just go over the under eye with your foundation brush. And to highlight, I'm going to be using my collection Illuminating Touch Concealer in Glow Number 3. This is one of my favourites and you know I use this in a lot of tutorials. Okay, 
I'm applying that under the cheekbone right here. That'll accentuate my contour later. Apply that to the nose bridge as well and to the center of the forehead. And I'm going to be using my Primark stippling brush just to blend the concealer in. And a lot of you guys have been getting this through my recommendations, so let me know what you think of it, because I love this brush. I've got like four of these. The texture of the Primark stippling brush is nothing like the normal um, stippling brushes like this. The softness feels more like the Real Techniques buffing brush, but uh, smaller and flatter. To bronze up the skin because Ciara has an even more warm skin tone than I am and I'm at my pale stage right now because it's autumn and winter time so this is me like pale. I'm going to be using my 17 Define and Conquer Contour Kit and using the contour shade right here. And just apply that kind of around everywhere with a big blush brush from Real Techniques. And then taking a small contour brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to go in much more precise to make them more like boom cheekbones. To the highlighted areas, I'm just going to be setting those with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is a pressed version. If you want to know how I made this, then click the DIY video link below. Contour the nose. And Ciara has a really defined tip of the nose, and I don't, so I'm just going to try and replicate that as much as I can. For blush, I'm going to be keeping it warm as well and use Sleek Blush in Life's a Peach. And to give the skin a glow, I'm going to be using my favourite, my 17 Instant Glow Gold Bronze Shimmer Brick. I would say it's my favourite highlighter. Okay, I'm going to change my lip line a little bit using Shu Amore Drawing Lip Pencil in Brown. I'm just rounding out my lip line on the sides. And on the center of the bottom lip, just make my lips look fuller. For the lipstick, I'm going to be using MAC Hue Lipsticks. Yara, on the photo that I'm going off of, is wearing a very pale lipstick. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my outfit and my wig and I'm going to come back. I've just put on a plain black dress and I've put on my Ciara wig as well and this is from bestlacewigs.com. They kindly sent me this for tutorial and review purposes. It's completely Ciara and this style is OSWO16 and I'm just going to curl the hair now using my bubbleless straighteners. and I'm just going to be finger combing the wig out and she is natural hair and if you want me to do a wig review for this hair then please comment below and I'll have a coupon code down there as well so you can save some money and spray it with some hairspray and scrunch it up a little bit to give some volume you don't want the hair to look flat and this is the final Ciara tutorial transformation look. I'm so glad to be doing tutorials again and I hope that you enjoyed this video. So please give this video a thumbs up, comment below. And this has been Mark, the Prince of Vanity. And subscribe, goddammit. Bye guys!